<laughs> aim in your eye when you get to the backfield real quick. Yeah, that, but if the, the, if the ball flows away, I got to run too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay right there in my little <laughs> little five-yard box. I got you. PB, you know, uh, Tough Orland said that the, the theme this week is, I guess for a little while, maybe it's been keep chopping the tree. Uh, have you heard that theme also? Yeah. Uh, what does it mean to you? It's one of those things where it's like, say, for instance, if you're a lumberjack and you got one axe and you're trying to chop down a tree, you know, you look at it as, you know, you keep chopping and chopping. You know, chop number 100 was going to break it down. But in all reality, chop one, two, three, four, and five all counted. All three of those chops that, or all five of those chops that you made contributed to that tree falling. So it's just one of those things where we just got to keep working on a day to day basis, coming out, going hard, you know, working on enhancing our craft and then working on you know, trying to elevate the things that we do wrong or we did wrong to not make the same mistakes going into next week. And speaking of chops, previous chops, what, what is it that y'all definitely put your finger on that needs to be fixed? I mean, as this goes along. Uh, one of the biggest things is just kind of like the culture of, you know, being a bullet, going four to six, A to B plus two, you know, everybody pursuing to the ball. When you see the ball, no matter where it's out in the field, you see a bunch of a gray hats surrounding it. So that's that's probably the biggest thing that we've been focusing on. So instead of Land of the Wolves this year, it's Land of the Lumberjacks? You can say that a little bit. <laughs> uh, baby, a lot of your teammates were very complimentary oh, of how much you were able to contribute even when you weren't on the field playing during the game. What did you make it your goal to accomplish during that time? Uh, I knew at that moment in time is my job was to become a coach. And, you know, as I go throughout the game, whether I'm playing or I'm having to you know, sit on the sidelines and watch, I'm doing everything that I can to pick up on little things, little indicators, and uh, help some of the guys who are in the game, you know, work on what they might be doing wrong or giving them tips to help them enhance their game so they're a little bit more comfortable playing. So uh, i say my biggest thing was just trying to step back and coach a little bit more to kind of help them guys going uh, forward in the game. So now that Nick Pose is in that same position, okay. how's he doing it? Is he, is he a future? Whistle carrier himself? He could be. We'll see what, Nick's, what Nick wants to do. I'm not sure. Maybe health wise, where would you say, like, percentage wise, where you're at right now? 100. Uh, 100. 100%. And uh, in, in the time that you kind of split time and took a little bit of a step back, what have you seen out of a guy like Devon who kind of filled in your role a little bit? Oh, Devon's game is skyrocketing right now. And I'm, I'm proud of the way he's playing, and I can tell he's, he's, he's a lot more comfortable. And he's comfortable in the system, and Devon is going to be one of those guys, especially as we go throughout this season, you're going to see his game get higher and higher and higher. And it's going to be one of those situations to where we're going to kind of be a one, you know, one, two knockout punch. And, you know, I'm, I'm proud of what he's doing, and I appreciate him because I couldn't play six and snaps a game. I'll fall out. Minnesota starting a tackle for the first time this week. He's 6'9, 400 pounds. How do you are, do you get intimidated by a size of a player? Not in, uh, me personally. No, I don't really get intimidated by a size of a player. But I will give him, you know, hats off to him because he's 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 very aggressive. He will try to finish you, and you know he can play some ball. If we, we don't come with our A game, we don't have an issue.